advice and information from the experts. This is Ask the Expert. Here's Rob Carney. Service line coverage is on the agenda today with our insurance expert, Greg Marcinick at Heritage Insurance in downtown Moose Jaw. Greg, we've talked about it a number of times over the course of the past several years, how important it is to have service line coverage under your insurance policy at your home. It covers a number of different service lines that you need to operate. That's correct, Rob. Uh, It covers the costs associated with repairs to underground pipes, wiring uh, from the street to your house when damage does occur on your property. And then an example is if tree roots come through and uh, invade your PVC or your cast piping and it snaps and breaks, it does provide coverage for you to get this actually fixed. And with all of city doing all of this cast iron replacement and then you're getting it taken a look at and that's when we're finding that a lot of people have had damage to the lines uh, going out to the city line. And it just makes it a lot less expensive to have this coverage in place. And as well, it does uh, cover any other drainage lines, any compressed air lines, communication lines, uh, power and electrical lines. Uh, Now, as far as uh, the amount that it's covered for, it's covered for up to a maximum of $10,000 with a $1,000 deductible. And a big part, too, is to remember that it covers from the exterior to the city line. It does not cover any of your interior. So there would be some additional costs. I know people have gotten it and been a little bit uh, frustrated with the fact, but it's just exterior to the city line. So it's great coverage in place. We see it being used quite regularly, especially now with the city doing all of these replacement lines. So very important that you do have this coverage in place. I know it came in real handy for me, and I still have it at your recommendation. Well, that's right, Rob. And uh, again, we do try to talk to everyone and all of our clients that it is very good coverage to have in place and that you do have it there in the event something does happen. Now, uh, once you're you're covered with uh, uh, your service line coverage, it's also a good idea to take a look at home systems protection, which is something else you can add to your home insurance. That's correct. Uh, The home system protection covers repairs or costs on your home systems, uh, equipment and major appliance breakdown. And uh, why do you need it? Like, for example, if you have a uh, surge, power surge, something along those lines, again, it's not a maintenance program. It's due to perils insured. Uh, And what does it cover? It covers furnace, water heaters, air conditioning, kitchen, laundry appliances, home entertainment equipment, radiant floor heating, air and water filtration systems, computers, electronics, exercise, power equipment, well pumps, sump pumps or pool pumps, and as well electrical panels. Uh, Now this comes with a 50,000 max coverage and a thousand dollar deductible. Now the important part on this this coverage is it's not replacement cost it is uh, depreciated but it does come in handy especially with the amount of electronics that are going in homes and the cost of the electronics and uh, it seems the newer stuff does seem to not last as long and they seem to be a little more vulnerable to sort of any sort of power surges and those type of things so not that expensive and another good add-on for your home insurance policy. Service line coverage and home systems protection. You can get all the information you need by dropping into Heritage Insurance or checking you out online. That's correct at uh, heritageinsurance.ca or come in and see any of our fine people at the corner of Fairford and First Northwest. This has been Ask the Expert, your source for expert advice and information. 